to remove the anti-tamper on the S400 MPR there's two security bolts fitted the two that you can see there are not the original position I've just put those there now for convenience but should you need to take those out and you cannot find a screwdriver bit to take them out because of the anti-tamper the other option that I've done that works very very well is this get yourself a screwdriver like those and just fit those into the slot like so push down slightly push down slightly and they should come out just like that job done so then you can replace those you can replace those with other bolts that doesn't have the anti-tamper on in there it's a bit difficult to show with just one hand but it's, it's out if I show it again here you may be able to see what I was trying to say there you go if the camera could pick it up so quite easy just be firm and sort of positive with what you're doing and a good grip and they will come out easy no need to have those those tamper, tamper bolts in the gun whatsoever but ideal if you're doing any servicing while I'm here I want to do a quick workshop tour excuse the mess but here's the workshop the NPR there's a workshop to right old mess I do apologize there's the air arms s510 R over sporter took the original silencer off moderator we fitted this ideal for when I'm going down a HFT course with the chronograph Step back a bit so you can see the six yard indoor range. And so a quick tour of the rest of the workshop. Please excuse the mess. That's the mini machine I do all my work on. And the saw. I used for cutting all the material. There's an old shaper here, possibly about 80 years old. Weighs approximately 1.8 ton. Extremely heavy. If I need to pick it up or move it, I use the beam up here to move it where I need it. Or if I need to sort of, if I end up selling it and making more space, I've got the beam I can pick it up and move. I think the light's going to catch it so well. There's the drawing for the traction engine on the building. MB6 glide press, both with weights, with about 600 capacity on that one. And that one there is just over 100 years old, but still very, very useful and really does do a good job when I should I need it. We come around here, here's the, here's the lathe, that's the lathe I'm using to make all my parts and um, more bits and pieces for the grey rifles so, that's about it we won't take you in there because there's another another 10 foot of um, junk pile up in there but that's the workshop tour there you go we come back a bit and there's my full workshop there spent many a happy hour building stuff and making stuff for people but that's my take on the S400 MPR. Um, no need, like I say, for the anti-tamper bolts to be in there. And now I can service my own guns, rifles, with ease.
without having the issue or the trouble of trying to take those anti-tampers out waste time trying to drill them just put a screwdriver in there and just push down firmly and give it a quick twist they should break the seal there's no um, Loctite on there or anything so they should come out okay thanks for looking and I hope it's sort of of interest to you should you have any issues regarding the S400 uh, series air rifles it's an easy it's an easy one to do um, but yeah you should wish you luck you get any problems or issues give us a shout always happy to help and that's my take thank you very much